What's going on YouTube? Subum Saint here bringing you the unboxing of the Smock TF V4. Been super excited about getting my hands on this tank and here in a little bit when we get close up, you guys will see why I was excited. So without further ado, let's see what kind of goodies we can get up in this box. Alright guys, let's get down to the nitty and gritty and check out this unboxing of this Smock TF V4. Tells you it comes with a RBA head, a triple coil head, a quadruple coil head, and some spare parts. It is a 24.5 millimeter device. It is 5 milliliters of e-juice, which you can't complain. And, yeah. Just keep in mind, it is 24.5 millimeters, so it might not sit too flush with your 22 millimeter devices. Now, let's open her up. We got the quality pass or warning doohickey. User manual. Little silica thingy. Don't eat this. Bad. Don't eat. It's a no-no. Smock tank right here. I will let you guys get a little closer of a look. My camera don't want to be mean and obnoxious and fix auto adjust for me here. You do get some organic cotton. You can never complain about getting some cotton. You get two silica thingies to protect your glass. Oh, got one upside down. One black, one white. It's nice to have them options. You get a black screwdriver, not a blue screwdriver, a black one. Smock changing the game up on us. Before you think about it, people be coming out with pink ones. <laughs> and a little extra gasket thingy. Spare glass, which is always good. Cannot complain with a spare glass at all. I think the triple coil is already in the tank itself. Here is a quadruple coil. Get this bad boy to zoom up in there for you. Zoom. There we go. I gotta admit, that looks like one mean coil. Now, I do have a Atlantis coil that I will pull up beside you guys. And there it is. Look at the size difference. That's pretty nice. And you do get your RBA head. This is a single RBA head. Pretty nice size. They do have pre-installed coil in it. Which I'm pretty excited to see how this thing wicks and how it vapes, all that good stuff. Now you can buy a double or a dual coil RBA deck if you'd like. That's what I have sitting right over here. I will get into. Uh, you have to buy this separately. This is I got mine from Vapor DNA for worth nine ninety nine. So that's just because I wanted to do the dual coil thing. I wasn't into the whole single coil. I wanted, I wanted to have that option. You do get more extra cotton. They do give you some pre-made coils, an extra screw, and a extra O-ring. Come on, now adjust for me. So, can't complain with that. Here's the dual coil. I was going to pull out the single coil and dual coil one, see if there's any difference here. Mm, not very much, but here it is. Here's the dual coil one. Kind of squeaky. It's already got two coils built in for me, which is pretty nice. Come on now, there you go.
Now, let me show you guys the tank a little more because I don't want to leave you guys hanging on that one. Definitely don't want to do that. I got to admit, I really like the looks of it. It's got the whole arctic feel with the four air holes and I'm not a big fan of the drip tips with the holes in it. I guess some people are, but I mean, I'm not. I like I like a warm vape. I don't like one of them cool vapes, so I do like I do like this tank. It's a pretty nice tank. But anyways, let me get back to FaceTime and I will fill this bad boy up. We can vape on this bad boy and talk about it a little bit. Alright guys, that was the unboxing of the Smock TFB4. I threw in the dual coil RVA deck because I know a lot of people are into the rebuilding on their tanks and all that. So I kind of wanted to throw that one in as a bonus. Let everybody know what's out there and what they can get with this tank. Um, I currently have it sitting at 75 watts at 0.22. Let's give it a vape here. I gotta admit, it is that that is a pretty good vape. I don't want to give my full review on it. I want to spend a little bit of time with this thing before I go out there and give my opinion. Cause I mean, why why would you put a review out there on something if you haven't even vaped on it that long and you don't know all the ins and outs of it? But I did want to give you guys this little unboxing so you knew what you got in the box, in the packaging. That way, you guys can dive on it if you want to get it. Now, so far. As of right now, I think the flavor is good. It does tend to suck the juice. I mean, I did fill this thing up a little bit. I mean, all the way to the top, and it's already moved down a smidget. So it does guzzle, but I mean, you can't can't expect the juice to last forever when you have three or four coils just sucking it dry. So it is what it is. But anyways, I will put a link in the description where you can get one of these and where you can get the RBA deck, dual coil deck. Um, there is multiple sites. I got mine from Vapor DNA. But you guys just keep vaping out there and you guys, y'all come back now, you hear?